Are you trying to steal some other man's girl, but you just can't seem to think of how? Easy. Because it's time to make beats like those horny motherfuckers. The Neptunes. The Neptunes or Nerd, I'm like kind of targeting those people. Well, not those people, fuck. I'm so, so disrespectful. <laughs> Quick disclaimer. A lot of these sounds come from Korg Triton, the keyboard, the legendary keyboard thing that Chad Hugo and Pharrell Williams use a lot in their beats. Welcome to another video on this Broken English channel. Today we got another lesson for you. It's a Neptune tutorial. Mainly made out of Chad Hugo and Pharrell Williams. They released their album Neptune's Present Clones. And that's mostly what I'm gonna base this beat off. Let's just get right into it. So a lot of the Neptune's beats are actually very, very drum influenced. So this is perfect for me because you know I love them drums. This is what I got for the drums. I think it's pretty Neptune's -y. You just let me know if you, if you disagree or not. All right, so a lot of these sounds actually I got from a Neptune's drum kit online. For all you lazy mofos, I'm gonna link it in the description for you. Honestly, just a lot of syncopation, man. La kick layering, you know, snare layering. It's nothing really much to, too much to like decipher. I didn't really do much. I kind of just layered two kicks. As you can see, I cut off the lower one and then I kept the lows in the other. Um, yeah, you just kind of want to make a drum beat that is kind of like groovy, you know? Like I don't know. I then put um, the classic decapitator drum fattener on the bus and I put a little bit of drums room on it just to make it sound a little more realistic. I added a lot of perks because a lot of their beats are very like perky. I don't know, <laughs> perky. Find a little pockets, you know, start um, if you're on Ableton or any other door really you can start going into more nitty gritties in the the grid just start going to like 16th or 32 and just find like a pocket here and there to just place because you see like let's say i start with the kick and the snare first right so i definitely started with the kick and the snare first and this is what the original drum beat sounds like Right, so not too like, it's a lot of space, you know, not too much. And then I started adding a shaker. Then, you know, I slowly start adding more perks. The only sound in the drum pattern that you need the cork trident for is this psycho kit. So this is where I got all these like tom fills from. As you can see, I kind of had to freeze it because I also didn't have the sound. <laughs> I, had to, I had to crack it, don't kill me cork. That's the only sound that I use from the trident in the drums. However, every other sound is essentially from the Coke Triton. So we'll start, we'll go with the the dynamic E guitar first. Right, so here are the chords. There we go. If you guys want to copy it, go ahead. The first chord is an F minor 9. And then the next chord is a D minor 9 and finally we have a G flat minor 7. I have this chorus guitar as well, which is also another Korg Triton preset. Just following the same chord progression, but I just had a, it's like I played it live, so it's like kind of off time.
and then the base So a lot of this I could just kind of like pitch the thing up individually using the Yeah, wait, let's see. Yeah, see I just kind of pitch it up individually a seventh is a perfect fifth if you guys don't know that so if you guys want to write like really nice funky guitars normally a lot of bass guitarists go up by an octaves or fifths so you go out by octaves you play around with octaves and you just use the fifths as passing note obviously it's not as that simple but you can kind of use that music theory to kind of just uh, make funky beat, uh, funky basses, and that's why it sounds kind of nice. The next sound I have is this sound from the Neptune's drum kit that I'm gonna link you guys, and I just kind of played like a random like F in an F major key, just. It's called the Sound Thirteen. I put chorus, a little bit of Echo Boy. I chucked on this like slap wide effect because i don't know it just sounded cool and i put it around the head and this is essentially just the first part of the beat so let's let's play it all together right now and see what we get first section where it's like slightly more calm i kind of shortened the chords this time so it's just it's still the dynamic guitar but i just i just shortened it Another chorus guitar just with another pattern. As you can see, I kind of just played it and like a lot of it is off grid. Look at it, it's really off. And the next sound I use is this, another Coke Trident preset called the Digital Poly 6, I believe. And it sounds like this. These beats are quite spacious because it leaves a singer like Pharrell sing on it. We want the main vocals to be the the main focus. And then I just have this little slight section breakdown where I just improved on the chord progression. And this time I use an analog lab preset. It's called this EP7070. Another thing that's really prevalent in a uh, Neptune's beat is this. That's it for the episode. I think this is going to be a relatively short one. And I hope you learned a thing or two. I got freebies in the description. Download them if you're a singer or rapper. Once you're done with the song, tag me. And I want to I wanna see what you guys make because I'm extremely interested and if i like it i'll promote it on my instagram and youtube i hope you guys enjoyed this video the b will play it right after this peace Thank you.